Huh? She was seven. Yes, y'all got on my pink wig. I got my Halloween. Y'all, it's close to Halloween, so I just broke out everything. Okay, so today I'm gonna talk to you, everyone, about men and women. Shoot, why not? You know, about um all these. Okay, I remember back in the '90s when all the music was about. You know, uh, money over women, money over bitches, M.O.B., Snoop Dogg, gangster rap, you know, uh, stuff like that, right? And, you know, women back then, they were, they were like, you know, the music was good, they liked the tune, but men were treating women bad, like pieces of property, like nothing, you know? So, fast forward 10 years later, into the 2000s. Now you have these women who don't really care for men, but just want to use them. And you wonder what happened. Yes, uh, music and pop culture has a lot to do with what happened and why women are treating men the way that they're treating them now, like disposable, like a wallet, like an ATM. Because if you haven't noticed back in the day, that's how we were treated, like a piece of property, like nothing. All that was valuable on us was, you know, uh, our sexual organs and the way that we looked you know we, we were a status symbol we were property we were this we were that so women you know we didn't really like that but you know pop culture rappers singers or whatever they popularized that and men started really treating women like that you know so you kind of reap what you sow and this is what the product is, you know. We don't understand why um, you would follow that type of mentality when you knew that eventually the pendulum is gonna swing back the opposite way. You already know that. That's what's gonna happen, you know. Once you uh, do, uh, there's, a call, there's an effect to every action. So, we already know that. So, fast forward years later, now the woman uh, only wants the man for money. They're not seeing them as a person anymore. They're just saying, okay, well, how can you improve my life, make my life better, give me things that I want? Because obviously love has in nothing to do with it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you fall in love with someone and everything is beautiful, but they lack certain things, you're gonna easily fall out of love with that person quick, right? So guys, if you want a woman to truly love you for who you are, you can't be lacking in other areas, okay? You have to be the, the package, okay? You can't be like, oh, I'm the sweetest, kindest, most romantic person, but I'm broke, so you gotta pay. No, you can't have any lack. You have to either be very balanced across the board or, you know, it's not gonna last very long. Now, you don't have to be rich. Like, I, I am no way saying that girls have to marry rich men you just have to be stable you can't be needy you can't be asking her for stuff you know what i'm saying and if you want an even even higher quality woman you're gonna have to pay for her you know her lifestyle the bills and stuff i'm trying to pick up something y'all you're gonna have to pick up her um end you know y'all are gonna be living together anyway so you're gonna need to pay most of the bills because you're the man men already typically make more money than women um so men should have to pay the bills because once the woman moves in y'all get married y'all have kids she's gonna have to do more work if you know what i mean okay so it's just balances out it just balances out if you're a man and you can't take care of your family then you don't need one. I know a lot of people are saying, well, I'm never going to get married and have kids anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, that's good because you recognize the fact that you can't afford a family and you don't want to actually work to have a family. But some people do. And um, the people that do need to understand that a woman is not going to stick around long if things are not in balance. Do you know what I mean? They're not gonna stick around long. They're gonna try to upgrade because they're not comfortable anymore. And women seek comfort by nature. So if the situation is uncomfortable to someone, they're not gonna stay in it very long. So your, um, you know, your main concern as a man is keep your woman comfortable emotionally, 
physically, you know, financially. You can't just ex expect someone to suffer with you, you know, when they weren't suffering before they met you. So, um, it's just like your child. If you had a child and y'all were um, poor and your child was like, mom, I got to move out. I got to do better. I'm going to go get a job. I'm going to go do better than you because I can't live in this environment. You're not going to stop her and say, hey, you love me. You'll stay with me no matter what. You know, you, you're going to stay with me and, and, and suffer with me if you really love. No, you're going to say, go do better because I do love you and I don't want this for you. You know, any man that tries to trap a woman in poverty and say, if you don't, if you love me, you'll stay with me and suffer or build with me or help me. It's holding her back because she doesn't need you to succeed. Do you understand? She can go out there and do whatever she needs to do and, and come out better. Most men who don't have anything going for themselves, pull women down. They pull them down. They're like, you know what? I'm going to drag you down since I can't get up. Now we're on the same level. No, don't let any man drag you down. If no man approaches you and you're still good, fine, you know, but don't go with a guy so he can drag you down. Okay. A lot of people have gone through this. I have seen so many women who are on top of their game, on top of their life, had their life together. And now they're sitting at the bus stop with their boyfriend. You know, it's not, it's not cute, okay? And every time I drive by the bus stop, I'm getting, I'm getting sick and tired of y'all sitting at the bus stop and clothes more expensive than mine but don't have no car. That is just sad. You need to get your priorities together. And I, I'm talking about people that are wearing $200 shoes, you know, uh, sitting at the bus stop, okay? That's a car note. You can save. If you can buy all that, uh, all those clothes, you can save, okay? <sighs> I'm just, I'm just tired of seeing it, and it's just sad. And and also, I'm tired of seeing. Look, this is gonna be a rant, y'all. This, uh, this is what else I'm tired of seeing. I'm tired of seeing ratchet women on Instagram, and all these tight clothes, flawless makeup and wigs, and I'm tired of seeing y'all's dirty room in the background. I'm tired of seeing y'all kid in a diaper in the background. And <laughs> if you can afford Mac makeup. Remy hair wigs, you can afford cleaning products and clothes for your child, okay? Yes, I'm calling everyone out today because I'm just sick and tired of seeing it, okay? I'm just tired, okay? It, you know, if you can afford the best nail jewelry and nail bling and lipstick and this, 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 and that, but your kid is uh, lacking, you're a bad parent. Okay, you need to get it together. No man respects a woman who does not take care of their child. A lot of women are like, well, I have kids and I, can I get a man? If you take care of your children and love your children and they see that you're a good parent and you're not out in the street, you know, giving your kid to whoever will babysit it every weekend and you're just out there like that. No man is going to respect you as a real parent. You know, that's y'all need to get it together. Uh, I might look ratchet right now. But my mind is not ratchet, and my life is not ratchet. This is a costume, okay? This is not my life. I, I have respect for myself, my children, and I understand that my life decisions will affect the rest of their lives, okay? So, ladies, y'all need to think about that. Men, y'all need to think about, you know, your priorities. If you're not financially stable, don't. You don't need to be dating. You don't need to be trying to get a wife. You don't need to be looking for none of that. You need to be looking for a better job, a career, a trade, a skill. Y'all are just not getting it, okay? In 10 years, when men t turn over 40 and they don't have anything going for themselves, they look like pathetic losers. And I'm not I'm not just I'm not just saying this, but y'all look really bad. Y'all look y'all might as well just be homeless. Okay, because if you don't have anything going for yourself by 40 and you're a grown man, you might as well be homeless because that's how women look at you like a bum. Okay, so y'all get it together. I'm just I'm just giving tough love because sometimes people need to hear this. Sometimes people need to hear that they can do better. You know, everyone has the potential to do better. Everyone has initiative. Everyone has drive. You know, even if you don't have an education, you could get up and go, you know, work. And, and save even if you don't have you know this or that <sighs> a lot of people create a job you know 
a lot of people you can't find a job make a job you have a you have some type of talent or skill or something that you can do to earn money you know it's just some people are just too lazy to even sit there and think about how they can earn money uh i can tell you i know so many people who have started their own business online it's in the, in this day of technology you can start a business for less than two hundred dollars okay less than a pair of jordans you can start a business online and profit okay you don't have you don't have an excuse anymore your excuse is you only you can save yourself and get out of that okay uh even guys with money are making fun of these broke guys you know Listen to all the rap now. No, they're no longer talking bad about women hardly. They're talking bad about broke men. Grown men with money are now talking about broke men. Okay? Listen to the music. Okay? They're they're targeting you. And y'all are steady sitting there listening to it. Talking about, oh yeah, I drive a Bugatti. And, and at the bus stop. Seriously? <laughs> oh, my favorite rapper is this, this, and that. But he's making fun of you too. He's talking about broke niggas. Broke men. You know, uh, you're not on my level. You're not in my frequency. You're not in my range. You're not on my radar. You ain't my radar. And you like it, but they're talking about you. <laughs> you know, my side chick better look better than your main chick. My side chick out your league. My main chick out your league. Listen to the music. Uh, they're talking about y'all's women, low class women. They're talking about how broke y'all are, and y'all still like their music. If that were me, I would be like, you know what? I'm not going to be broke for long. <laughs> you know, y'all not going to sit here and talk about me and get my money. But seriously, I mean, we need to do better, people in general. Um, I could talk because I have done better. I can talk because I don't, you know, I didn't settle for less. I can talk because I've been through it. I've dated broke guys before and I and I wouldn't settle. I'm like, no, y'all need to do better than this, okay? No, okay? Um, it's like you're in high school and you're dating. You're dating someone in your grade level, right? You know, it's time for grad, you know, it's time for the next grade level. You go to the 10th grade, they stay in the ninth grade, okay? Oh, baby, it's okay. You just, you, you can do better. Okay, so now it's time to go to the next grade. You're in 11th grade. They're still in 9th grade. Okay? Oh, baby, it's okay. You got a learning disability. Okay? Okay, now you're in the, the, the 12th grade. You're a senior. He's still in 9th grade. What are you going to do? You going to stay there in high school with him? Or are you going to graduate and move on and go get you a college boy? And then, you know, move on to the next level of your life. You can't stay with a guy who brings you down. If you do, you're stupid and your IQ is low. I'm just going to tell you. If you're in a relationship and a man is bringing you down and it's been more than one year and you haven't seen it, you need to go and check yourself because, ladies, I've seen so many men bring down women and don't care what they look like. Let that other ratchet girl take care of him. Go get you a real man with real money, real job, career that can help you and bring you up, if not at least be your equal you know what I'm saying y'all are messing with these guys who can't do nothing for you but be another child to you and then y'all are oh but I'm in love with them they're not in love with you because if they were they would get up and do something for you do you understand okay they're not in love with you no matter what comes out their mouth if they're not getting up to help you or do anything for you they're not in love with you and you don't love yourself Okay, so I just have to make this rant video because I get so many women asking me, how do I get, how do I do this? How do, how do I make my man become a better man? You can't. You got to move on and get a new one, okay? You can't make a man into a, a better man. They have to do that for themselves. And if they won't do it for you, it's because they don't love you. And they don't love themselves and you don't love yourself if you stay with them, okay? It's time to move on, move forward, get someone who's on your level or above you okay ladies men same thing a lot of men will sleep with the woman who you know they don't really worry about the relationship aspect of the when they're meeting a, a woman for the first time they just sleep with her and they don't realize how she can ruin his life as well okay y'all guys think about that too 
who you sleep with, who you have children with, will affect the rest of your life. Are they going to bring you down? Are they going to be a burden to you? Think about it. And if you can't afford kids, put on a condom. Okay? It's just, it's not that hard. It's very easy. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'll see y'all later. Comment and subscribe if you're new. And if y'all like my wig, I got it on wish.com. <laughs> Bye.